Cancer prevention, the role of vitamin B12 and folic acid. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, I'm an advocate of taking a high potency multivitamin and mineral every day for a number of reasons. You know, one reason is it, it appears these things can help to reduce your risk of cancer. So the formulation that I like includes the following nutrients. Uh, it's enriched with antioxidants, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, 400 IUs of vitamin E, succinate, the most important uh, anti-cancer form of vitamin E, vitamin A at 2,500 IUs, beta carotene 15,000 IUs, bioflavonoids at 50 milligrams, lycopene powder at 6 milligrams, a B50 complex that includes 50 micrograms of B12 and 400 micrograms of folic acid as part of the B complex. Vitamin D at 1,000 IUs, uh, calcium 500 milligrams, magnesium 200 milligrams, selenium 200 micrograms. So it, as part of that complex, you know, how do vitamin B12 and folic acid help to reduce cancer risk? Well, B12 and folic acid work together. And one of the things that they do is they help the, the cells make more DNA bases. So when cells want to divide, and cells are dividing all the time, billions of cells are replacing themselves every day in your body, they have to replicate their DNA template in those new cells. And in order to make the DNA bases for that to happen, you need B12 and folic acid. So if you end up in a, with a suboptimal nutritional status of B12 or folic acid, then what happens is the DNA bases don't form properly or the linkages between the chromosomes become very weak and fragile and that's when they break easily and mutations form that can become cancerous mutations. We know that low blood levels of B12 and folic acid are associated with an increased risk of many different types of cancer. And what we see also is that the, the amount we get from food sometimes is not enough. So the average intake of folic acid from food in the, in the, in the North American diet is below 190 micrograms. What we, studies show you need 400 to 600 micrograms a day to really get into the protective area. Uh, you know, and, and women know that they need folic acid during uh, pregnancy so the child isn't born with spina bifida or some neural tube defect. It works the same way. That child, the, 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 the uh, cells are dividing very quickly, the fetal cells are. And if they, don't, if they can't make the right DNA bases, then mutations will occur that will end up with this terrible defect. We know that if women will supplement with folic acid during their pregnancy, it reduces the incidence of, of uh, spina bifida by more than 50%. But also in terms of your own cells in your body that are dividing to keep you alive, you need the folic acid to make sure your DNA is formed properly. With vitamin B12, uh, our, our nutritional status drops with age, and that's because of a number of reasons. Number one, you need acidity in the stomach to absorb vitamin B12. And as we get older, we have less stomach acidity. And you need the acidity to make what's called intrinsic factor. Vitamin B12 does not get absorbed very well on its own. When you have a meal, the stomach acidity uh, that gets generated encourages cells to make intrinsic factor which travels down into the intestinal tract and that's what actually carries B12 uh, uh, from the gut into the bloodstream. So without intrinsic factor you don't absorb B12. If there's not enough stomach acidity you make less intrinsic factor. So most people their B12 nutritional status drops as they get older and then a lot of people go on these they, they think they have too much stomach acidity so they take antacids they're put on proton pump inhibitors they're put on uh, histamine blockers to deal with GERD and reflux and so on and that's been shown to deplete B12 even further the bottom line is that you have to ensure that your vitamin B12 and folic acid status is optimal the way to do that regardless of the situation is to take a high potency multivitamin and mineral that already has the B50 complex in it, along with the other nutrients that are important to prevent degenerative diseases. So what I'd like you to do is to click on the link below. You can read my review article on vitamin B12 and folic acid and vitamin D and how they all work together in terms of reducing your risk of cancer. All the scientific references are there, so you'll see that I'm giving you information from sound peer-reviewed journals. Now at MachinoHealth.com you can see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see you're always getting evidence-based information from me on any topic that you're looking for with respect to health and disease. 
So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.